happening tonight in Orange County. High-end cars hijacked. Thieves targeting luxury vehicles from restaurants and hotels. Two of the cars were tracked down, but the most expensive ones are still missing. Deputies say one woman is behind bars in connection with the crimes. Her boyfriend may have played a role in the scheme. He's still out there. Fox 35's Stephanie Buffamonte is live. And Stephanie, you just spoke with one of the victims involved. I did, and she just feels devastated and violated. She parked her car in valet where she thought it would be safe. She works hard for her money so that she could buy a luxury car, and someone just took it. When I came back out in the valley, told me that my car was stolen. Broker Cora Johnson had her Bentley stolen after parking in valet at Icon Park. She's not alone. Thieves took six luxury cars from valets across Orange County. This couple, Yamilet Torres and Joshua Gonzalez, are accused of stealing at least two of the vehicles. Investigators say they're suspects in the other robberies, too. These uh, suspects definitely knew what they were doing if they had the ability to disable the tracking. It's not very easy to disable the tracking, and most of the tracking in these cars was shut off almost immediately. Here's the timeline. On May 17th, around 11.15 at night, a valet attendant told deputies that someone pried open the lockbox for keys and stole a Bentley out of the Icon Park parking garage. That same night, there was a similar robbery in Winter Park on the busy Park Ave, this time with a Mercedes G-Class. Then on May 31st, deputies say at the Hilton Orlando Buena Vista Palace, a thief took two sets of keys from the valet key box the night before and came back in the morning to steal an Audi Q5 and a white Ford Expedition. On June 2nd, around 1030 at night at Norman's, a restaurant in the Dr. Phillips area, a Rolls Royce and BMW were stolen from the valet. In each case, either the keys were left in the car, the key box was left open, or the key box was pried open. So what should you do if you park valet? First, remove all the valuable items from your car. And speak to the valet uh, operator, ensure that the keys are going to be locked up, that they're providing adequate personnel to supervise the keys when they're in their uh, custody. As for Johnson, she won't be parking in valet again. I wish they would tighten up the security when it comes to the valet. Like, at no point should both attendants or whoever's working together leave the box unattended. No. Johnson's car has still not been found. Two others, though, have been recovered. Reporting live in Winter Park, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.